Hello everybody, it's Matusik. Gonna do a commentary this time around on Kill Chain's channel. Now I know you guys might have heard me commentate here before, but it's been a little while, so Kill Chain's hit me up and said, hey man, would you like to do a commentary for me? I got this really good gun streak I got, and I want you to commentate it. I said, all right. So he sends it to me and I'm like, well damn, that's pretty impressive, a 62 gun streak. And then I find out he uses the FAL. I'm like, bro, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta use the FAL? So. I mean, you, you know, I mean, some of you guys are like, oh, it's the trigger finger, man. Like, I'm just a bees. I don't know. The FAL was just a gun that I just really despised. But with that out of the way, I do want to give him props. 62 gun streak is pretty solid. Um, these kids just seem to, like, be lost. Like, there's a couple of times they're running away from the hard point. <laughs> like, there's a couple of times they're trying to get kill chance. They're trying to kill him, focused on him. And that's the worst thing you can do as you you're playing a game that you're getting beat at you don't care about the objective you start just going for the other player that's destroying you and all that's gonna do is you're gonna die because that player has a vsat as you see here he knows where they're all at so he knows where you are and you're just gonna lead him up to his next vsat so you just gotta focus on the obj and let <laughs> let kill james do his thing because he's gonna get a 62 gun streak he's just gonna fucking get it and i don't know if that purple camo has anything to do with it but it's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish I had that camo right now. But how do you guys feel about the camo packs and stuff that they did with, like, not just this game, but Ghost? Like, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool that they redid the um, character models. Like, I, I run around as Makarov and Ghost. It's pretty cool. And they have those camos. I mean, yeah, they can be a little pricey, I think, where I think Black Ops 2 is cheaper. I, I don't have any evidence of that. Like, I'm just kind of saying it off the cuff here. But... I believe it's cheaper in Black Ops 2. I really, really enjoyed the camos in Black Ops 2. I got the the danger one. It's like warning danger or whatever it's called. And I didn't buy all the other camos. But obviously the camos must be doing really well in Call of Duty because there's people giving away Spectrum camos. And people are... There was a time on eBay people were selling them for ridiculous amounts of money. It's just crazy, man. It really is. I mean, people really want to just stand out whether it's, you know, one guy out of... 16 or 12 in a lobby like they want to be that guy that has the camo or stand out as the cool kid i don't know what their deal is but call of duty definitely uh monetized on that that's for sure so I, i'm really curious to how how in depth it's going to get in the next call of duty if they're gonna you know advance these camos to sh shit yeah pay a dollar for a new face paint like everything's just going to be money everywhere it's gonna be money whores everywhere I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave in the comment section below what you think m could be a possibility. Like they're going to sell face paints, character models, gun camos. I mean, maybe they might even, I know this sounds out there guys, but they would be the type of company to sell like emotes. Like, y you know, like how shooting bodies and teabagging people has been like a big thing in first person shooters. They might sell something where you do like humiliating moves after you kill somebody and they have to see it. Like and they sell them for a dollar a move. Like, I could see that happening with Call of Duty. Like they're, they're the type of company that has gotten to the point where they're really just trying to appease the younger crowd and trying to keep everything, you know, fancy for the little kids. Because if you guys recall, people are like, well, I thought in Call of Duty Ghosts there would be quickscoping, right? And then we saw evidence from Thunder and other bigger YouTubers that quickscoping is very real, and they did absolutely really nothing to fix it. And it was just a lie to make everybody buy the game. And then people bought the game and found out there was quickscoping. And that's because why would they take that out of the game? Like, look at FaZe. Look at, like, all these big sniping YouTubers, all this big stuff. They're not going to take that out of the game because that's why most of the people play the game. You know, not everybody gives a shit about getting on and trying hard. I mean, that's, like, probably the top 10% or the top 20%. The rest of the people just go on and play Team Deathmatch and just like to quickscope and get away with bullshit kills. Or they like to use the FAL with purple camo. But, hey, that's not my job to decide what's right. Kill Chains is a beast. Whenever I get the chance to play Black Ops 2 with him, fucking carries. I love it. I don't have to do anything. I could be, like, talking to my girlfriend, just chill, and I just know that he's popping out VSATs. It's a good time, guys. So make sure you support him. Uh, he's a really, really cool guy. Definitely cares about what he puts out for videos. He doesn't fake shit. The reason I say that is... I'm a little bit bigger of a YouTuber and I've networked with a few people and you'd be surprised what people put out there for you to watch. It's just a bunch of bullshit. Um, 
they'll lie right to their subscribers. They'll get bigger and then they'll be like, oh yeah, whatever, you know, fuck my subscribers. Like, Kill Chain's the real deal. He's a pretty cool guy. Like, he's busted his ass, obviously, guys. If you look at his channel, he's got 108 videos by the look of it right now and he's closing in on 250 subscribers. And I think, you know, he's done a lot of upgrading too. Like, his microphone quality is great. I'm glad he upgraded that. Um, he brings you pretty sick gameplays. And if you're new, definitely drop a subscribe. Be sure to support his videos by leaving a like, guys. I think I checked some of his recent uploads and you guys have been doing that for him. But let me tell you that it's really going to help him out if you do that because it spreads the word to your subscribers or, you know, the few people that you know. If you're on Twitter, it will show people. And the reason why I tell you guys all this is because, you know, he's at like 242 subscribers and... You know, just by giving this video a little bit of love, he'll probably be at 250, and that'll be a big milestone. It'll be pretty good, and he'll keep uploading, and he'll just basically keep growing from there. Um, so let's get into that round 250. Uh, I think after this video, he should be there. That'd be cool. Uh, you gotta love the nuclear emblems, how they lagged. I don't know. Like when I got nuclears, I got unstoppable emblems. Like <laughs> I got a kill chain, and then all of a sudden, like I died, and I was just like sitting in the spawn, like, you know, screaming that I got a kill chain. I was like, yeah, I got a kill chain. Blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden all the metals keep coming in. Like they kept coming in for like 10 seconds, like the lag. <laughs> Cause I was making so many big plays. It couldn't catch up. And I think kill chains definitely achieved that in this one right here. He finishes it off. He gets killed, but it's Matusik and I'm out.